this week we have an SR20 DE. Um, it's not just any DE, this is a throttled setup, so it sounds quite nice. And yeah, I'm quite excited because I am actually driving the car. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I please urge you to do so. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. We literally hit over 8,000 subscribers. Yo, it's really something that I'm, I'm really grateful for. I can confidently say that um, this is the road to 10k. I know it's possible. Um, not even 10k. From here we're just going to grow and grow and grow. Um, so I urge you guys to share the content. I promise you there's going to come better content out as well. Um, every week I try to improve on my content. Um, yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoy. And stay tuned for... In the middle of the video, I will be um, discussing some details to actually win an induction kit. I want to send a shout out or thank you to Ryan van Eden. So, he actually helped me with getting a mic sock. So, I was looking long for a mic sock. It's literally a small thing, but it's so important. I actually lost it while I was doing the shoot with Darren Peskin. So, I got too excited and I didn't realize that the sock was actually gone. So, thank you Ryan. Um, please do subscribe to his channel. You make some awesome automotive content. We have the owner here, his name is Keaton, so welcome to the channel. Thank you for having me. And we have something different today, so we're introducing a guest to the channel. It's a special man here at the back, so his name is Jude. And he's um, Yano Photography, if you guys know him on Facebook, you can go check him out. He takes some great pics, and he's just going to be with us today. And gives his, his input also on the car. Keaton, just give us a story about the car. So, basically I was looking for a stock DE and I didn't know between the center of the Sabre so I found this car on Gumtree I went to go view the car and to my surprise the car was stock completely stock and that is exactly what I was looking for I was looking for a car that is stock not scratched just basically a good foundation to build on and start my own build on it so I wanted to build something unique and still enjoyable from the ordinary centers and sabers out there. And to, to my understanding, this car is obviously still um, DE. So what made you stick to DE? Well, the reason why I stick to DE is because I saw Ryan Alice's DE and with his setup alone that inspired me to create something different here in Cape Town. Because a lot of the guys are running BVLs with N1 cams. So I want to do something unique and different and I went the same route as throttles and to my surprise that's definitely very satisfying. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the SR20 DE that you have in here. So, um, the list of modifications. Basically, I bought the car with a set of 270, 272 bullet cams, induction, and the car had exhaust, 57 mil exhaust on the three boxes. Is that I, when you bought it? Yes, that's correct. And then I looked at the options to do something unique with the <coughs> car. So, basically, what I did was I went to CNS performance and they supplied me a set of 44mm Martin Brewer throttles. I fitted the detector on the car and that is how I started the journey first. We took a T on the car and the car made 149 kilowatts. That was at the first time That's out. the first time yeah. out with the setup, yes. Then I had the motor rebuilt <coughs> in December by my brother-in-law and I basically just got on a bigger piston with a head scheme and a block scheme and we tuned the car recently, the car made 154 kilowatts and 243 newton meters. Sure. So that's just with a bigger piston and the cams, dictator and what else, the throttle setup obviously. The throttle setup and the head and block scheme. So what throttle setup are you running on this car? I have a 44 mil Martin Brewer throttle setup. It's basically a straight fit onto OEM 
in tyk. The Martin Brewer trot is like a common um, modification on this cars. It's very rarely yeah. that you will find a set of Martin Brewer throttles because it was made to fit D and V motors. Yeah. Straight fit basically. <coughs> but if you're gonna go other throttles as your M3 setup, or you're gonna go two level off throttles, you need to make a adapter plate mm. and all of those things with this is straight plug straight and plate. Because I know a lot of the cars that do like conversion of the throttle setup, they opt for the, for the 43 mil throttles from the 20 valve. Yeah, that's yeah? correct. Yeah. Because this is a bit more expensive than your 20 valve setup, mm. but it works out cheaper if you think about it in the long run. Yeah. What exhaust are you running on this car? I'm running a Profit 63 mil. Single box? Two boxes. That's basically all I've done on the exhaust. Mm. So you won't go one box? No. It's gonna be too loud, no? It's gonna be too loud, yes. But it's quite nice how it is now, like, as we're driving, you can actually hear us talking, like, there's some cars when we drive, and we can't even hear each other in the car, like, while we're speaking. So then I can't do the review <laughs> inside. That's, that is basically yeah. why I built the exhaust with two boxes, because I still want the car to be as soft, yet when you do give throttle, then you hear. So competition time, so this week um, MH Inductions is giving away an induction kit so it consists of a short ram intake and the cone filter so this is how it works so basically what you have to do um, you first have to like the page obviously then you have to like the post and tag a friend in the post and lastly you have to share that post so this post I'm speaking about that will be um, provided in the link. So the winner will be announced on the 14th of March. So that will take place on MH Inductions page. Car. Well, I've taken the car since I got it to Zaire from Z-Line Performance, he's the one that tunes the car. He also dialed my cams when I went to go tune the car. Mm. So I'm definitely very impressed with his workmanship and also how he tunes the car because when the car came from him, the car was very very different to how it was when I previously tuned by him. Special guest at the back, um, Jude. So yeah, no photography. Um, I'm just gonna ask him what he thinks about the car because he drives in this car a lot. You can basically call it his car. <laughs> <laughs> the guy does a lot of photo shoots on this car, yeah. I'll yeah, I'll leave his um link of his Facebook page in the description, yeah. So just give us your experience with the car. How do you feel about the car? Okay, my experience from personal experience now the car is quite strong. Quite strong for the DE that is making stock VVL power, I must say. Um I drive in this car on many occasions and the car just keeps getting stronger with all the mods that's being done, the bigger pistons, the cams, everything, the car just feels strong. The car is it's quite good and it's very this build is very reliable that I must put in. Um, it doesn't come close to what the VVL sounds like, but there are there are a couple of personal um, favorite VVLs that I like but yeah. I prefer this car more. <laughs> I don't think anyone can disagree with this, the sound of throttles. <laughs> no yeah. ways. Oh <laughs> 
And it's over now to Yano or Jude as we know him. So yeah, take it away. Just give us a few words of inspiration there or motivation. Okay, my few words of inspiration is build a car for yourself. Build it so that you can enjoy it. Don't build your car for other people. Don't build your car so that you can be famous or known by people. Um, build something unique as well. Most people prefer the VVL in terms of power, speed. And it's just, it's enjoyable also just to have lift, but... Plus the stack. Plus the plus stack, plus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stack adds a lot of noise and most people enjoy the stack, but nothing, nothing can compare to throttles as well. Just as stack is, um, stack sounding nice, throttles also sound nice. We all have our, our different preferences. So, yeah. That is the end of this feature, but before I go, I just want to talk about the car itself. Um, yo, I'm speechless. Uh, you can see it by my facial expressions in the video when I drive the car. So, um, with that cam, obviously, you feel that power. It actually does feel like it has lift. When it comes around 5,000, it has like this, um, it has this aggressiveness to it, man. So, obviously, that's the cam that's now coming into play the car is really nice um, the clutch is also liquor of the car it's liquor for shifting like for snap shifts and these G shifts as they would call it um, power shifting so it's nice for that and as you saw by the videos also of Keaton as he's driving the car he likes to flat foot shift so yeah that clutch is great of the car for that purpose as well but overall the car is in this yo the car is the car is smooth, you know, the way it delivers the power and stuff. Um, the car is tuned well. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, the sound of throttles, you know, especially a work car with throttles. With that cams and everything, you know, it's nice. Really, it's nice. So remember guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I please urge you to do so. As this coming great content um, I promise you I'm gonna up my game hopefully and that road to 10k hopefully it comes soon and then yeah we take it from there so if you are interested in, in a review please do let me know I'm really enjoying this um, and yeah I'll leave some photos of yellow photography at the end so please do check out this place as well it takes very nice photos so Thank you, see you in the next one.